it is clear from our intense legal review that there is, in fact, a legal basis to conclude that the Rohingya were the victims of war crimes, crimes against humanity, and genocide. Such an assessment is not to be made lightly and must be subject to appropriate scrutiny. Specifically looking at the standard, as you've heard a lot of us say, the reasonable grounds to believe that crimes are committed. Uh, so this is the same standard that the ICC uses. So the three elements as we have analyzed here in this report, first, that a protected group was targeted, Second, that individuals of that group suffered prohibited acts. And then third, that these acts were committed with an intent to destroy the protected group in whole or in part. From, from the first story to the second story to the third, all the way through to 1024, we heard different stories from different people. We believe there is sufficient basis to bring international criminal proceedings against the perpetrators of this violence and recommend that the international community pursue legal accountability for the atrocity crimes committed in the Rakhine State against the Rohingya.